So in a previous video we looked at the law of total expectation and there's a similar result for variances so something called the law of total variance. And we start out with an x and a y, two random variables, and we can uh, show the following provided that these expectations exist. So we can write the variance of x as being equal to the expected value of the variance of x given y plus the variance of the expectation of x given y. Now for the proof of this, there are different ways to approach it. One way is to start off with the expectation of the variance of x given y and show that this is equal to the variance of x minus the variance of the expectation of x given y and then you know you can easily rearrange. So that's the approach that we'll take here. And we'll start by just writing the variance in terms of uh, a well-known theorem, right? The variance of some random variable x is equal to the expected value of x squared times the square of the expected value. And so just being consistent with that, we would say, well, you have the expectation of the variance. That's the expectation of the expectation of x squared given y minus the expectation of the expectation of x given y squared. And so what we've done here is we've first broken up the variance into the expected value of the square of x, everything's conditioned on y, minus the expected value of x given y squared, and then we've broken up the expected value uh, over the, the difference here. So sort of two steps in one. And then the next step is to notice that this expectation here by the law of total expectation is just the expected value of x squared. So we can rewrite the first term as the expected value of x squared by the law of total expectation. And we'll keep the second term the same for now. And then we'll strategically subtract off uh, an expectation of x squared. So we have the expected value of x squared minus the expectation of all of x squared. So we'll subtract that off there. And then we'll have to add it somewhere else if we want to keep this equality. And so the place we'll add it is um, coming up here. So then we'll write down expectation of the expectation of x given y so that should be squared and then we'll have minus the square of the expected value of x and notice that we've subtracted this term off here and the double negative here means that we've added it here so we haven't changed the equality And the reason why we've done that is because we can now identify the first two terms as just the variance of x. And that's part of what we need, right? Up here we've started with this term, and we, what we need to fall out of that is um, 
the variance of x minus the variance of the expectation of x given y. So the first term, or first two terms, looks like the variance of x. And the next thing we really have to notice is that we have uh, an expected value of some random variable squared minus the expected value of x squared, we can rewrite this term, expected value of x, as being the expected value of the expected value of x given y. That's by the law of total expectation. And then what we have is uh, the, expect the expectation of the expected value of x given y squared minus the expectation of the expectation of x given y all squared. That's just the variance of the expectation of x given y. Right, so really just to drive it home, we're taking this thing here, the expectation of x given y, as our random variable. And what we have in this top or second to last line up here, these two terms make up the variance of the expectation of x given y. And so putting that all together, we showed, well, the expectation of the variance of x given y is equal to the variance of x minus the variance of the expectation of x given y. And if we rearrange, we get the theorem.